Hi, welcome to my channel. This is the logo design practice series that will help you generate better logo design ideas and how to execute them. So, today we are going to be making the logo for this fake client neck. The business name is Astute Realty, and the client likes pictorial logos. He said. Astute Realty offers a selection of pre-construction apartments with good locations. Our target audience is investors and property agents. We want to convey a sense of leadership, integrity, while at the same time being innovative. So, these are the main key words that I've extracted from the brief. Before doing anything we should know what we shouldn't do. So, a quick Google search on real estate logos, and all we can see is houses and buildings. This is too generic and we should avoid that. For the mind mapping, we should extract more words from the main keywords. And for that, I am gonna use this website, it will help you a lot with this. So, I type the keyword here. And when I click here it will give me a lot of related words, then I pick the one that I like and I can even get more related words to it. After collecting all the related words, I make some lists, every keyword with its related words. Then I make some combinations of words from different lists. And this is the mood board images, that I've collected to use as reference when sketching the logo. Now, I pick my pencil, and I start sketching. It's all about exploring new idea. You should sketch fast so you don't get stuck in the details. I am willing to make a video series about me redesigning your logos, so if you want to participate, and get your logo design reviewed and redesigned, send me your work over the email address below in the description. Now, I try to refine this sketch to get a cleaner version. Now, I take a photo of the sketch. Then I transfer it to my computer. Then I copy it and after opening Adobe Illustrator, go to Edit, and click Paste. This is a more refined sketch. Now, I set the opacity down to 35%. Then I go to Object, Lock, and I click on Selection. The sketch is now locked to the background. I take off the fill color. And I change the stroke color to dark pink. Then I press OK. Now, I move to illustrate the sketch using the pen tool. One click here. And then here, and drag the handle so the stroke meets the curve of the sketch. One click here and drag a little. And the same here. While holding Alt. Rotate the handle to this angle so the stroke follows it. One click here. And then click here and drag. Then hold Alt and rotate the handle. And then I will do pretty much the same thing, to illustrate the rest of the sketch.
Now, with the direct selection tool, I start fixing all the curves by clicking on every anchor point, and moving and dragging the handles. Now, I do the hand of the lion. To make the stem of the key, I'll make a slim vertical rectangle. And for this part, I go to the ellipse tool. And I make a circle here. I hold shift and alt, and I drag it here to duplicate it. Holding shift I select the two circles. And control G to group them. Then hold shift and select the key stem. And from the align window, click on horizontal align center. I ungroup the two circles, and I duplicate this one and drag it here. I regroup the two circles. Then I select all the key elements, and I align them to the center. Select one circle. Then go to Object, then go to Path, and then click on Offset Path. Check on Preview. Then I'll set the offset to minus 10 and C. I think I'll change it to minus 13. Now, I repeat the same thing to the other two circles. Now, select these two circles. And from the Pathfinder, click on Minus Front. I did this to crop the smaller circle from the bigger one. Like you can see in this circle. Now, I'm gonna unite all these elements. But first, we should make sure that everything is well aligned, and there is no gap between the shapes. Control Y to change to outline view. Everything looks good. Select the circles with the stem. Then with the shape builder tool. Drag inside here to unite all the shapes. Now, for this part, I'll make a small rectangle here. Then I hold shift and make a circle. Now hold alt and drag the two shapes up here. Go to object, transform. Then click on reflect. Check the horizontal reflect, and press OK. Now, select the two circles with the key stem. And with the shape builder tool, click on the form shape between the circle. 
and then delete the circles. Select everything, and from the Pathfinder, click on Unite. And that's it. This is our logo outline. I will remove the stroke color, and fill it with black. You can see that there are some parts that need some tweaks. I start by fixing the belly. Now I move to fix the tail. And this is our final logo. Now we will search for a font for the logo name. And to do that, there are many websites that can help. Here we have defont.com. You can choose the category of the font. I'll choose a sans serif for this one. And then type the logo name in the preview text zone. And click on submit. Now you can see the logo name displayed with the different fonts. You can choose the one you like. Another option is myfonts.com. You can choose the font type from here. And write the logo name here. The good thing about myfonts.com is, it displays the logo name with the different fonts. And show you the fonts in different use. So, with the text tool, I write the logo name which is Astute Realty. Then I increase the font size. Now I'll change the font to the one I picked from myfonts.com. It's Octanoo. Now I shrink the lion to the size of the name. Then, with the eyedropper tool, I give the logo name, this dark grey color. It's almost black. And for the lion, I give it this greyish golden color. Now, I try to make another version of the logo, that may work better. I move the realty word to the bottom and I move it a little bit up. Then I change the font weight to light. Then I change the type case to uppercase. I decrease the font size. Then I increase the tracking value. And that's it. This is pretty much our final logo. And this is the final result of the other sketches. Don't forget to send me your logo designs along with the link to your portfolio, to the email address in the description. Thank you for your attention and see you in another video.